Hey everybody, the focus of the next assignment takes some thinking. Your readings, each chapter of the next chapters in the Mintz book, are about different time points in the mid to late 20th century, including the time of the 1960s when there was much social change and turmoil. In each chapter, there is growing recognition of the role of individualism and the role of the psyche, of psychology, in society. Your task is to look at how social forces, and by that I mean things that are remote and impersonal, play a role in shaping these psychological states of mind, these psychological trends, if you will. The best example of this is the whole idea of individualism and the importance of the individual to begin with. The idea and of the importance of the self arose when capitalism and democracy arose in the 18th century. And this focus on the individual and psychological things has continued to increase with each century and the focus on childhood or the prizing of the child in the 19th century, middle class children, and then the changing status of children in the 20th century. Um, but even as that has changed, we can still see that things feel personal and yet are the product of external social forces. Think about it. That's what I want you to work on. And then write about it after you've read the slides and the three chapters from Stephen Mintz.